Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. I'm extremely sorry for being irregular in recent days due to my heavy workload and study pressure. Today we are going to see a malignant pancreatic head mass with hepatic metastasis and portal venous thrombosis. A 70 years old male patient came to me in midnight with the complaints of upper abdominal pain, jaundice and gradual weight loss. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here you can see the part of liver. You can see the hepatic parenchyma is slightly heterogeneous. There is a hypoechoic space occupying lesion here at around segment 4. You can see this is the portal vein and the common bile duct entered to it is dilated. On measurement it was around 9 mm. The intrahepatic channels are also mildly dilated especially on the left side. Now when we put the color doppler over the portal vein, prominent flow from the hepatic artery is seen. But you can see there is no flow within the portal venous lumen and its main branches here. There is low level internal echoes also noted, so it indicates a case of portal venous thrombosis. As we have got a space occupying lesion in the liver and also the portal venous thrombosis, we want to find the cause of these lesions. Now let's jump into the left lobe. It also looks heterogeneous. You can see some ascitic fluid collection adjacent to it. And the part of portal vein is not showing any flow on Doppler. You can see this is the hepatic artery. Now we have magnified the image with high frequency linear transducer. There is ascitic fluid collection at the inferior border and the hepatic margin is irregular. You can see multiple hyperechoic lesions are also noted within the parenchyma which we couldn't see with curvilinear transducer. You can see some echogenic linear striations here. I was a little bit confused about this echogenic foci as this looked like pneumobilia or portal venous gas involving the deeper branches. But on CT, there was no appearance of air within the liver. Here is the view of the gallbladder. You can see diffuse submillimeter. Echogenic foci casting cometal artifacts are noted within the gallbladder lumen. These are called cholesterol flotas or microlithiasis, whatever you say. You can also see some ascitic fluid collection adjacent to gallbladder. Now here's the magnified image to evaluate more about the cometal artifacts and you can also see adjacent hypoechoic slurs here. Here's the epigastrium and you can see an irregular ill-defined heterogeneously hypoechoic mass lesion at the pancreatic head region. The main pancreatic duct is dilated. So this mass lesion at the head of the pancreas causing obstructive features is possibly a malignant lesion. Here is the oblique longitudinal view of the lesion. You can see the part of aorta here. If you check carefully, there is some anechoic spaces at the center of the lesion. These anechoic spaces are the necrosed part within the tumor. Now let's look at this lesion with high frequency linear transducer. You can see the mass lesion here. The margins are ill-defined and irregular. You can see the main pancreatic duct is dilated here. An adjacent pyloric wall of the stomach is also thickened, possibly due to congestive gastropathy. Here's the picture. You can see the portal vein with no flow within the lumen and the dilated common bile duct entered to it. There is flow within the hepatic artery. The liver pancreas is slightly heterogeneous and the ascites is seen. Here is the hypoechoic lesion measurement which we have found in the segment 4. 
but other tiny lesions making the liver heterogeneous are not well appreciated here. The spleen appeared normal and acetic fluid is also seen here. I have already told you that we have done a CT scan in this patient recently. Here you can see the lesion at the left lobe that we have shown you just before. Now with linear transducer view, you can see the irregularity quite well visualized with the heterogeneous nodular appearance of the parenchyma. These hypo and hyperechoic nodular lesions are maybe metastatic deposits or maybe cirrhotic nodules. A triphasic CT scan may help differentiate better. Here's again the margin of the lever and you can see the acetic fluid here. This is the picture of the gallbladder with internal ecogenic foci casting comital artifacts along with some slurs. According to CT, this gallbladder was completely filled with slurs. Now here is again the picture of the slurs filled gallbladder and on the left image you can see the approximate measurement of the pancreatic head lesion. You can see surrounding hyperechoic thickening of the fat layer. Here on the right image you can see the dilated main pancreatic duct and on the left image there is a glimpse of the gallbladder along with the heterogeneous liver parenchyma. Here is the linear transducer view and you can see the pancreatic mass lesion. This is the main pancreatic duct which is dilated. You can see the normal pancreatic tissue is much more brighter than the mass lesion. Here is again the poor quality CT image and you can see the heterogeneous lesion at the head of the pancreas. So in summary, an irregular ill-defined heterogeneously hypoechoic mass lesion is noted at the head of the pancreas causing dilatation of the main pancreatic duct and common bile duct. The intrahepatic biliary tree is also mildly dilated. The hepatic parenchyma appears inhomogeneous with multiple hyper and hypoechoic space occupying lesions of variable size and shape involving both lobes. There is low level echos in the main portal vein and its both right and left branches with no luminal detectable flow on Doppler. Submillimeter floating echogenic foci casting comital artifacts are also noted within the gallbladder lumen. There is also moderate amount of ascites. So this feature is concluded as a case of malignant pancreatic head mass causing biliary tree and main pancreatic duct obstruction with hepatic metastasis and portal venous thrombosis with associated biliary slurs and moderate ascites. Now the take home message. In case of any abdominal malignancy, especially the hepatobiliary ones, try to check the portal vein and inferior vena cava carefully to exclude thrombus, which may affect the prognosis of the malignancy. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.